Hey guys, today I got a ZVT for you. Now I will be playing the role of the Zerg in the bottom left. Our opponent is Mr. Weaver, the Red Terran in the top right. And uh, we're gonna see what happens this game. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip forward the the first little bit. Seems like the SUV scouts, typical hatch gas pool versus normal. Uh, no Reaper expand, but still pretty normal. Just Marine, Reactor, Factory. Reaper comes over, gets a drone kill, I guess. Dang. Yeah. Forces a bunch of sport tricks and gets a drone kill. And then, of course, just dies for free to, to Zerglings, which is not great. Um, third base goes down. Lings are going to go ahead and go across the map now that the Reaper is dead. See what they can find over here. Marine. Mm. I guess it would have been good to send them around and just get a scout, but I was gonna try and kill some of these. I suppose since they can just run away, it probably would have been better to just look around. Um, the aliens come out, clear everything up. Um, it's looking like just a one, one, one. Three bases over here. Three hatches, just queens and lings. Viking first. I always love Viking first to kill all the overlords on the map. Okay, Helen's gonna come over here, look around. Uh, we're gonna do a ling drop in the main. The queens come to deal with the Hellions. Eight lings come in. We're gonna drop eight more lings using this slow dropper lord. And they're going to find pretty considerable damage, these 16 lings. Run into the main. A lot of the SCVs aren't fighting for a little while, so the lings are just slaughtering them, taking great trades. The Hellions have to come back to actually deal with all of this. And after that, We've got the Hellions back on his side of the map, not fucking with my creep. And 11 kills for uh, just turning this into a Dropper Lord and 16 lings. I feel like Dropper Lords are criminally underutilized, especially this move. Like, you just get a lair, and then, you know, you already have an Overlord over here, at least I always do, so you can just <laughs> ferry him into the main. It kind of sucks when they have building here and they can see it, but if you can get all 16 unloaded and then just send them in, it's, it's such a distraction so early. So we've got queens spreading creep everywhere, going ahead and getting double evo now. It's like his upgrades are already on the way. Probably already has stim, getting combat. Looking pretty normal, one and a third. I've started doing these uh, macro hatches more, although I think I should do a fourth and a fifth at the same time, and then maybe one macro hatch instead of two macro hatches when I take the fourth. Because uh, when if your fourth gets sniped, it sucks so bad. And like if you're gonna make a bunch more bases anyway, you might as well might as well have a backup fourth. Okay, one one get started on our side. Looks like he's gonna have about a full upgrade timings lead on the upgrades for a while here, if he starts 2-2 immediately. Alright. Not much going on for now. Oh, looks like the push has finally come together. Hellbats, tanks, marines. 1-1. One, one. Just, just a little... Wow, ballsy. Just walks right on the creep. Doesn't give a fuck. Scans. Scans once he's at my base with creep. Uh, bailing speed is basically like just started, and so I didn't want to engage this with slow bailings, and while I was still making way more lings. Um, okay, we got OB speed at some point, so we're going to do a counter attack of two. Two drops while we come in and try and flank this army. I mean, you know, flanking doesn't particularly matter if you're still coming in from one direction, but we did at least have a little bit of a trickle on that side. Um, the Banelings come in and really do not get shit done. 
Ling drop goes into the main. Where's the. Oh, there's the main drop. Okay. So the Lings killed my entire army. Or the Marines killed my entire army. The Lings get into the main, but don't find a ton of success because of these Marines here. The Marines are now also killing my fifth. Um, and our only hope is the Bane Drop in the net, which is going to find a pretty reasonable amount of damage. This is why I always put Lings in with my Bane Drops, because there are so many with, like, one health left that they just one-shot. Especially if you don't have... I, I don't know if plus two Bane Lings one-shot SCVs. I know they do. Probes and... Probes and drones. I'm not sure about SCVs, though, because that extra five health. But either way, three, three Banes and two Zerglings is... Much better drop than four banelings, I would say. Um, so this army did great, honestly. I, I for being so ballsy, still just standing on creep. Like comes up, kills the fourth, kills the fifth. These banelings go ahead and crash into some marines. Not bad. It's a planetary getting up for. Eh, I guess it's not for free. There's some stuff over there to defend it. Lings try and run in, get sh shooed away by the marine tank. Now this is kind of crazy, moving out with just marines. We're still over here, so we're gonna go ahead and punish him for just doing this move out with no medivacs at all. Vaylings are already here, I'm kind of thinking about it, and then we just say screw it and attack. Um, perhaps not the greatest attack. But the Banelings do kill all of the Marines. Um, looking at this again, and seeing that I had made 60 Zerglings, I really wish I had just flooded this base, because all he has is tanks left. Um, but I don't believe I did that. I think I just made these and chilled at home for a little while. Which is really sad. Because as cool as Banes are, when there's just tanks, it would have been better to just flood with Lings. Either way, it seems we've caught up on the upgrade deficit. We're gonna both finish 2-2 two -two at about the same time. Getting a hive over here. I really love this planetary positioning. Got another planetary over here. Another drop coming in. This side of the map, everything has to pick up and leave. Missile turret shoots down the Bane drop. Just reconsolidates by the, by the planetary. Good idea. Another Bane Drop seems to die to the same missile turret. Oh, no, it actually is able to release its cargo. Meanwhile, over here, we get pushed back by a planetary and, and all the stuff. This Bane Drop does release a little bit of its cargo, but the Marines are able to deal with it pretty well. Bane's over here find a planetary. They are not particularly excited about that fact. Um... The creep has started to really get good on this side of the map. Of course, because of that initial push, the creep over here is uh, terrible. Oh, but vipers have hit the field. Re three chitinous. Everything on this base probably needs to run away before it gets gunned down. Uh, one one hellbat just sent to roast all the drones. At least the drones from this base get pulled away. It seems all of these just die. Ugh. Again, kind of smashed, but we're making seven ultras at a time, so this isn't really the time I want to fight him right before those all come out. So he does get two bases for free, a whole bunch of drones over here. Knocks me back to five bases while being on quite a bit more himself. This ultra barely escapes, these ultras do not escape. And I don't know what he's really doing here. I mean, I guess he's, he's killed all the creep. I guess he doesn't need to go home, but he's kind of just sitting here. Mm. Of course, as I say that, he finally unsieges and just gets a moved by Baneling Ultra. Now the ultras are on the march. Let's see what we can do over here. We come over here, three tanks, two libs, a planetary. He hasn't even unloaded his shit, and I already can't fight this. So we're gonna go ahead and run away. Ballsy-ass marines chasing five ultras here, but 
It will be ignored for the time being. Quad drop going down to the right side. Gonna skirt around the creep. I like that idea. Unloads. Kills the fifth again. Oh, but that's a lot of ultralisks. We've gotten to... How many ultras is this? Uh, that is 12 ultras with 3-3 three, three in kiteness. Um, the yoinks, yoinks on medvax aren't as good if you don't have enough fancy to actually kill them. Okay, so here comes 12 ultras, fully maxed, and some terrible move commanding on my part here, because I was fucking up with the Viper control. Uh, regardless, this is not the army to fight 12 ultralisks, so my move commands are easily forgiven by the Ultras chewing through everything. Um, the Ultras been a little split up here, so we decide to just click on this planetary, because with enough Ultras you can definitely do that. Um, and then let's continue the rampage a little bit. These Corruptors, basically unchallenged in the sky, are just going to keep wailing away on all the medevacs. Ultras going over there. Ah, oh, they get stuck on that planetary. Two Ultras alone are not going to be enough to deal with that. Oh, all the tanks are finally going down. All of these Ultras are on very low health, but they are still rampaging through. The Corruptors go and piss on the main base. This Ultra is going to run away from its spotters that would kill him to go and kill everything at this base. This Ultra finally does get kited down by all the Marauders, but the main is dead. This ultra is still killing everything at the third. Fourth is dead. I guess the other fourth over here is still fine. We do have a lot of uh, orbitals left, but that was that was a pretty rough fight. And then a billion lings come in. The corruptors come back in. Lings just keep chewing stuff up. Corruptors decide they're going to go piss on the natural command center this time. Nothing to be done to stop... what is this? Uh, like 15 Corruptors. Yeah, the damage just scales up so fast. Lings are flooding the ground. Corruptors have flooded the air. And the Ultras are enough to just crash through the defenses. Oh yeah, I mean, he took great traits on my side of the map. Killed so many hatches, but then... Just getting caught out by those 12 Ultras instead of being in a good position over here. Like, he got jumped on while he was still trying to unload. It was, it was rough. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.